Hello, welcome to Watch This Now. My name is Nick, and I welcome you to another episode of the 13 Nights of Halloween special. We are getting so close to Halloween, and that means we're getting down to the best titles yet. I'm digging up a classic for this one. As you already know, because it's in the description that you clicked on, The Evil Dead, the original from 1982. This film is one of the most inspiring and terrifying horror films, in my opinion. While it's low budget look and feel might not do it for everyone i look past that because i see all of the creepy horror and such well done gore that makes this a worthwhile trip to go on again and again and again and again and again the evil dead is about a group of five college students who head to a cabin in the woods for a weekend of fun sounds familiar huh this is the original though folks this is the one that set up the idea of the cabin in the woods and the actual movie, The Cabin in the Woods, very much drew from this one for inspiration. The friends end up discovering a bunch of spooky shit in the basement, and they end up conjuring some demons that end up taking over them in these weird deadites. They are odd zombies that still have some sort of consciousness and kind of satanic powers at times. It's not very well defined, but you know what? It doesn't matter, because this whole movie is just a whole bunch of fun. Again, it is so low budget and schlocky, but I think that's what adds to the overall charm of this film. And that's probably why it's a horror film that has withstood the test of time, and it's one that we go back to. Especially now, during Halloween, you gotta have a Cabin in the Woods movie, and this is the perfect one. What I love about The Evil Dead is that it manages to balance both scary and gory. I saw this when I was a kid way too young. I had a weird habit as a kid of walking into the room when a scary movie was on like all of the wrong parts. I did that with this one. Saw all of the wrong parts. I'm sure you can imagine. And I don't care how stupid it might look now. I think this movie's scary. The Evil Dead is so spooky. The chick singing and the weird stuff in the woods. I mean, I'm not about it. While this one is not set on Halloween, we don't have any costumes or decorations or anything. We do have gore by the bucket full. I cannot believe how much gore this movie manages to have for being so low budget. But this movie has some dismemberments and beheadings and straight up tree attacks some things we don't even know what we don't even know what happens to that one guy what's also really special about the evil dead is that it actually has its own brand of villain it's interesting because they're like zombies but then they sometimes have satanic powers like maybe can fly at times <laughs> Again, not well defined, but it is surely entertaining as all hell. And what's fun about this one is usually in these slasher films you know exactly who the survivor is, and they're kind of just there to hit the survivor beats. What's great about the Evil Dead series is that it has the character played by Bruce Campbell, Ash, the most charming hero ever! It's uh, no wonder there's a whole franchise built around him. It doesn't really matter who else gets picked off. We have a solid central character that we can spend the majority of this film with, and we're never tired of spending time with that character. I love that. That's like, another one of the things that makes it so easy to come back to this. The atmospheric environment of the woods, the spooky woods with the fog and everything, I think adds an extra layer to this cabin in the woods slasher that has deadites. It really evokes a classic horror vibe. I really enjoy that, and that's why I think it's a really interesting Halloween pick. It kind of has such a different blend of all kinds of entertaining horror thrown together. You have kind of zombie demons, you have the cabin in the woods setting, you also have just this weird feeling of just like pure terror coming at you from the trees. I find that the Evil Dead blends all of this together and makes a really entertaining film and also a pretty breezy short one so it's not a bad pick to just throw on to get in the Halloween spirit. What are you watching to get in the Halloween spirit? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know, of course, what you think of The Evil Dead. I absolutely love it. I'm sorry, I hate to say it. I know a lot of people like this sequel more. I don't! I'm sorry, I don't like that movie, and I don't like Army of Darkness. I just like the first Evil Dead, and then the remake. I'm just not into that gross-out comedy. It is so not my thing. 
and Evil Dead 2 is like the worst. The, I hate, I do not like that movie. But that's okay, we can disagree and you can still subscribe to my channel. So do that, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and maybe even give it a share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video and have a happy Halloween.